I repeat what I said during an interview with Citizen TV last week concerning our nation and concerning the financial appeal that is a big issue in our nation. We have spoken, and personally I have spoken more than once, that some things can wait. We do not have to do all things in one day. Rome was not built in a single day. I spoke with, together with the other Kisi clergy, and we advised our president and the National Assembly that they should take their time concerning this financial bill, review it, and bring it at a later date when it has been agreed upon by all citizens of this country. We do not have to go that direction as a nation. That's why we have been appealing to the nation and to the leadership from our president, our deputy, and all those that God has given in positions of authority, that we need to be considerate and be mindful of this beautiful and wonderful nation that God gave us. It is very difficult from where I am. It is very difficult for any one of us to understand the insensitivity and the insincerity of our National Assembly. We may not know the details of the bill, but the country is not talking about the bill. The country is talking about a difficult season, that people are going through difficult times, that anything that seems to burden the country, whether good or bad, becomes bad altogether. And that's why we are appealing to our members of parliament to swallow their pride and save this nation from sinking. I'm making my appeal to our president that we love, to the National Assembly, and to all our leaders to save this nation from sinking. The kind of spirit that is moving in this country cannot be confronted by the bullet. It can only be confronted by wisdom and listening. And this is a prophetic alert. The kind of spirit that we are addressing cannot be confronted by the bullet or by confront, fiscal confrontation. It can only be confronted by wisdom and listening. Let us listen to what the country is saying at the moment. To save this country, all of us must coexist. And to the nation, I want to read to you the Bible in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 23. This is to our president and the National Assembly and all other leaders that God has given opportunity to lead this country. It says in 1 Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 23, everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible, but not everything is constructive. Nobody should seek his own good, but the good of others. I repeat, everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible, but not everything is constructive. Nobody should seek his own good, but the good of others. If we change our focus and look at others, we will be able to live together, united and happy as a nation. Let the nation listen to this, and the president listen to this, and that will be great. Even when you stay in a family, when you live in a family and you want to buy a car as a man and your wife says she doesn't need a car, you don't just go ahead and buy that car because she cannot board. She's not going to use the car. The best you can do is to listen to our priority and ask your wife, what did you want us to do? She will tell you, I prefer we buy land then that car can wait for the sake of coexistence to live in harmony, to live in peace. 
you can suspend your desire to buy a car. You go for the land. After you purchase the land and build a house, then you can be able to buy a car for the family. But if you go ahead and buy against her wish, she might never board the car. And she might talk to her children also to avoid using the same car. Please, let us listen to one another. Let us respect one another. Let us accept to stay together as one people united for good cause. And especially listen to the cry of the citizens. That is how this country will survive. That's my wisdom for the nation. May God bless Kenya. May God bless the citizens. May God bless the leadership. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.